Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough 4-2 as promised. Can we 100% it? It's the cave of Lakitus. We might not be able to and oh, do you know how many pipes there are to check? Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's actually anything important, except for one pipe to actually go into the cave, but, uh, well, I don't think that was... Oh, there was something important back there. Okay, so I got... Palmas Pip, please! Thank you! <laughs> because I can't, like, restart the level via the pause menu. Okay, so, I guess the pipes are probably related to the actual position of where they lead to. So I bet you if I go in the furthest left pipe, I'll end up behind those flippers and I'll be able to collect the spoils that are within that side, I suppose. We shall see. Okay. I'm all full, filled up on eggs again. And I can lap that last one up. Is this something that I... Yes, it is. Okay. Hopefully there isn't anything hidden in the other pipes, but... Details... Um, I'll save that. I think I want to get this when the camera is not going to despawn that shell, preferably. Uh, how about I do a uh, deflection shot or something? Like go... something like there. Oh shoot, i too far underneath the... There we go. Oh, I mistimed it! Well, it, th it doesn't look like there's anything important up there anyway, but... Yeah, it's just a thing of that. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna try that again, just just for kicks, <laughs> just just for the heck of it. Because I just I don't think there's anything important up there. Like I don't think that maybe the shell is going to make a flower appear or anything like that. But we'll we'll see, I suppose. And tongue through the object. Ah, oh, I was gonna say tongue through the object. Eat. Yeah, there we go. Easy. The glitches to my advantage. Let's, although it's, I don't know, if, it's kind of hard to call it a glitch because Yoshi can't automatically retract his tongue once it's through an object. After all, so it, it's just kind of part of the. Well, I don't know. I guess maybe it's just an oversight, not a glitch per se. I'm gonna just try hitting it when it's timed properly. Okay, so just for a one-up. All right. <laughs> all right. So that was a big waste of time. <laughs> Other than showing that, I guess. <laughs> uh, Beach Koopas taking shells back. Uh, yeah, if they, if they see a shell, they'll go inside. Oh, shoot. Okay. I thought I, was gonna, I, thought I created an infinite loop there. Uh, but yeah, if they see a shell, they will go inside it. And by the way, Paul Block, <laughs> that's what basically your item does in your inventory. Uh, oh, I wanted to get on top of the power block. Can I get on top of... There we go. It's like, I know I could stand on that. <laughs> and I also know there is something up there. But I forgot how you get up there, per se. Uh, maybe you have to loop around using that bumper. I don't remember that. Maybe it was like a... Go over the wall sort of deal. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. And there's a post. It seems like it always goes up through the ceiling infinitely. Oh, and I might as well, just for the fun of it. <laughs> now this right here is an interesting little setup there. See, it's designed to make you push him into that cove over there, because there's nothing really, nothing really over there to uh, uh, that you need to get down there. It's just, you push him down there and he's, he's out of your way, that everyone is happy. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is how you get that crate. Alright, so I was right about being some other way, but I, I didn't think it was through this particular side. Alright, probably just stars. Yeah, it is. It's either stars or a key, it seems to be. Oh, I definitely need to come down here anyway for that flower. Um, um... Whee! I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> just because this, this looks like the way that's not forward. Uh, this is probably a secret. It is not a secret? <laughs> okay. Um... Hmm. Let's see here. Let's see... Uh... Can I... is there anything... really? Well, what's the point of this bumper? Is it... why? Is it just to get on top of Lakitu's? You know, the wall... the Lakitu's in the wall, wall Lakitu's... Yeah, whatever you want to call them offhand. Hmm... hmm... I find that suspicious. Let's hit this. Oh god, <laughs> just make something appear right below you, that's... 
not really going to be something easily missed there, unless this is a misleading area. Uh, as though she falls after hovering, press A again to hover some more. They're teaching it this late? Use this technique in the magnifying glass to get all five red coins here. Ah, uh, okay, so, so it's telling me if you have a magnifying glass. Hey, yeah, might want to use that. <laughs> and we're off. Carefully. <laughs> I'm just going to follow the trail of coins, I suppose, and uh, look for any red stragglers in the mix. Okay, so we're counting up to five. This could be difficult. <laughs> that was two. And we're moving on. And this was six. We're grooving on. There was eight. And we're still going. There was fifteen. And we're still following those coins. You don't have to collect them all, apparently. There's 36, which is the equivalent of 5. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, moving on. Uh, wait, can you actually redo this over and over? Holy poopers! Like, you, you actually can't miss a coin there. Like, even if you don't have the magnifying glass, you can just go through here again and then... Yeah, just hover around here until you count up to uh, 36. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty nice. Because usually those places are one time per run dealios. Oh shoot! I hated this one because it could easily ruin a run. You want to hit them on the back side, yeah. So, but that, that, yeah, that over there, I believe, is just for a one up. But basically, that particular section, you can't exactly get up there on your own. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, actually, maybe you can. Um. If you would use a shy guy, maybe. <laughs> I thought there would be a shy guy from that coming from that pipe as a egg refill, but I didn't really notice. I was, I didn't have six eggs anyway. Uh, you're you're kind of dangerous there. <laughs> you're, you're the most dangerous of all those three, so you are going the way of the dodo. Obviously, I'm supposed to follow the shell. It's probably going to lead me into something dangerous or not. Uh oh, shoot. That's a dangerous one to get to! Okay. <laughs> I forgot that one was there, but it worked out pretty well. Okay. Um, now, obviously, you want to get that shy guy when it's above the land. The same with that key. And... wait for it. Wait for it. I think this is just for a bonus, but... Oh, I should have licked up that, that egg, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Now... It's probably just for a bonus, as I said, but it was something that must be checked. Watermelon Seed Spitting Contest, my favorite one! Yes! Yes! Even though watermelon items aren't super useful compared to other stuff, they are still... It's still a fun minigame to play. It's not luck-based. <laughs> it's there to test your watermelon seed spitting skill. Actually, I'm kind of kind of cheesing this a little bit. I didn't even realize I could do that. Okay, let's super damage it. Super damage, yeah! <laughs> yeah, alright. So you've seen that game. You can get as many watermelons as you please from it, I guess. And midpoints. Yeah. Red coin. Yeah. I'm happy to have that magnifying glass on, actually. I should have that on a whole lot more often than I do, actually. Just by collecting it from other match games and stuff like that, but... I don't know... I don't know... By the way, there's something... I mean, there's sometimes stuff hidden, like, in the circles in the wall, like, you know, those wing clouds and stuff like that. That's, that's why I kind of check them over, just to see if there's anything there, just, just in case. You know, there's a red coin up here. There's flower down there... Death spikes over. Oh shoot! I remember what that is. This is gonna give me a chomp rock. It's not a what? I thought that was gonna give me a chomp rock. Uh, how do I get? How do I get that there then? Can I actually hover through that? I don't. Th hmm. Hmm. Hold on. <laughs> I thought this was the chomp rock rolling section across uh, death spikes, but I guess it's not. Uh, well, I, I guess I'm supposed to use my 
flutteriness to get down there. Oh, it is possible. Okay, why didn't I think that wasn't possible? That was actually actually pretty easy. All right. Now, obviously, we want to not screw this up. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now. <laughs> There's another one that you can potentially screw up. Ready? 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 Yeah! That was the last one. And also, by the indicator of that other coin, that was the last red coin as well, if you didn't hear that little jingle that happened after that. And look at that! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Relatively smooth run! <laughs> you know, other than that beginning area, which I thought might have actually had something that didn't actually have something, but... I guess for the sake of showing stuff, it was still good to show it properly. <laughs> yeah, what a points! Yeah, and a bonus game to boot. <laughs> well, I, uh, not, not, I mean, not a bonus game to boot. Excuse me. Uh, you, uh, I just forget it. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking there. <laughs> <laughs> With that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I'm probably not under the influence of fuzzy spores like I am now. <laughs> Just making excuses.